Hans, Hans, can you give me a C? A C? Well, Bash the Trash is a group of educators and performers. We've been playing and doing uh, performances for 22 years, almost 25 actually. And we build musical instruments from recycled and reused materials and turn those, using the science of sound, into really cool musical instruments that the kids can play. All instruments make, uh, make sound because something has to happen. And that something is vibration. But once you start talking about something like that, then you start talking about the different ways that things vibrate, how you can get the sounds louder and softer, different kinds of instruments as well. But it all is based on the idea of vibration first. Well, they pick a whole variety of instruments. They start probably with some very simple percussion instruments, like drums or shakers or scrapers. Um, many of them move to string instruments at that point, and they use either rubber bands or they use fishing line. We've got some weed whacker cord as well that they're using for making basses as, as well. Um, then a lot of them make wind instruments. So there's, uh, I've been watching trumpets being made, a didgeridoo I know is being worked on at the moment, um, and then oboes, flutes, and things like that. So really, our instruments are just as, as uh, the same as the instruments in the orchestra. Well, this is my third year working with the Lead Center on the Science of Sound camp. And it's one of the coolest things we do because I get the chance to work not just in one classroom session, but a whole day-long intensive of building musical instruments and learning how science works with these instruments. So what we do is we start with um, an introduction to the science of sound using some of my musical instruments. So we talk about vibrations, we talk about resonance, we talk about length and uh, density, tightness. Uh, then we talk about the different kinds of instruments. And then I just turn the kids loose on all the materials that are in this space here that, you, that the folks here in Lincoln have been collecting and let them build their own instruments using their own imagination. So what we have here is the makings of, of what I call the French hose. Okay, the French hose is two pieces of garden hose, one slightly larger than the other so they can fit inside each other, and the top of some kind of a juice bottle or some kind. You can see I just cut off that top. Now with brass instruments, you need to buzz your lips inside. So when I'm buzzing my lips like this, I'm activating the air that's there. Unfortunately, the air isn't trapped. So what I do is I now have air, which is inside this tube, which is trapped. When I buzz my lips inside here, that makes a good horn sound like that. Next thing I would do is to make it longer by putting this inside like this. And this is, of course, meant to go inside each other. <clears throat> that makes it a little bit longer, okay? And then the final step is to put on something that all brass instruments have, which is the cone shape called the bell. And this goes on to the end here. And then just like you said before, we now have the French hose, okay? And the French hose works just pretty much the same way that a regular French horn works. Hold on a second, this is coming apart. I gotta put this back together. All my garbage instruments come apart. That's just what they do, so you know. Now I'm just changing the pitch by buzzing my lips faster and slower and pushing a little t harder with my stomach muscles as well. So it's really a great fun instrument and it sounds exactly like a French horn. Well eventually what's going to happen is uh, next week they're going to be working with Susan Werner. Now uh, what's going to happen is my kids here are going to be learning three of the songs. We're going to interject some music into the songs, uh, different kinds of things and then we're going to perform with them on the stage as well. So it's a great opportunity for the kids to not only have a chance to build and use their imaginations, but a chance to really explore the idea of, of what it's like to being a professional musician, a professional performer on a stage. This This the yellow house has too many rooms, too many rooms, too many rooms. The yellow house has too many rooms. Sit on the
Thank you.